The guided access option in the accessibility setting was given an update in iOS 8. You can now set time limits. Let's take a look. Let's select accessibility and scroll down to guided access and turn that on. And click on time limits. Well, actually, let's start with passcode. Let's enter a passcode. So set guided access passcode. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to enter a passcode. One, two, three. All right, and let's enter it again. So now I've set a passcode. This passcode will allow access into the iPad. All right, so let's go back to guided access and let's click on time limits. The time limit here will, you don't set the time limit here actually. You set whether or not it's going to make a sound and whether it's not it's going to speak like you have 20 seconds or one minute left in your session. So let's go for sound and let's select that. Let's go back to time limits. Let's go to speak and we're going to turn speak on. So now let's go back to the guided access button and I'm also going to select accessibility shortcut. When you triple click the home button while guided access is enabled, your accessibility shortcut settings will be displayed. All right, I want that. Now, let's go back. Back on my home screen, I'm going to turn on Safari. And now I'm going to triple click on the home button. It takes me into the guided access screen. What I'm going to do is click on the lower right time limit options button and I'm going to set this for one minute. So now when I give this to someone to use, they'll just have one minute to use Safari and then the screen will basically lock them out. So let's turn on time limit and let's see what options I have for Safari. Okay, I can have dictionary lookup, that's fine. All right, touch. I'm going to leave that set at on and hardware buttons. I'm going to just take a look at that and leave that as the defaults. All right, so now in the upper right corner, you see the start button. So I'm going to set that to start. So whomever is using my iPad, they now have one minute to use the iPad and they can only use Safari. They can't go to any other screen. So if I, for example, click on the home button to try to take the, um, me out of Safari, you see that it says guided access is enabled, uh, triple click to exit, and it just made a sound and played um, uh, the alarm. So now if I click back in there, one, I'll click on the home button one time. Guided access is enabled. Triple click the home button to exit. 15 seconds remaining. So now if I triple click to try to get out of Safari, I have to enter the passcode. I have to know what the passcode is. So you've in essence locked them into this one app. So this is good for if you want your kids to play a movie or you, they're watching a movie and you want to set the time limit for how long they can watch this movie or if you are giving your iPad to someone and you want to make sure that they only stay where you want them to be. Hope this was helpful. This is Sheeta Hunter. Until next time.